Welcome back to the Tim Conland and I'm Diabolical 1v1 Tourney. We are continuing on round four with uh, Backstein and Firebot playing their group match. It'll be a best of three with uh, Sanctum being the first map picked by Backstein, Axiom picked by Firebot, and that's the decider. It'll be Frontier. And we are starting with Sanctum. From Firebot's perspective. It was already picked up, and here goes the Mega Swall. Backstein spawns pretty much next to Mega Swall. It goes for the red. Pretty much cornered there. Firebot catches some very nice shaft damage on him. Yellow. Now Firebots. Backsteen on slightly we're stacked just only by a little Ooh, there we go that rail will quickly even it up and put fireboard on a lower stack 25 hp remaining 21 now from the <laughs> blaster splash damage and here comes the pincer that will put backsteen on a very comfortable position with omega red still hasn't even been picked up fireboard some very offensive rockets to the red very nice pincer fireboard course on a very low stack He's still making noise. Backstein hears him fall back. Goes for the blue. Goes for a rail above. Doesn't hit it. Goes for red. No, that will be firebots. A nice rail to follow it up on uh, from Backstein on uh, firebots. Gets the mega, but uh, loses pretty much all armor in the process. Gets the blue, hits a rocket splash, immediately knows where Firebot's going, gets a railhead, very nice. This, that was two in a row, three in a row, Backsteen. Hits it and gets the red. Rocket jumps on a higher ground. Anticipates Firebot being on the yellow, doesn't hit a rail, Firebot will successfully get the yellow there. Falls back to Mega. Backsteen, ooh, it's, it's a pincer. That shaft damage will do its job quite well, even if heavy, uh, red is gone. 121 armor, 173 HP. Backsteen is very much good to go for another frag if he really wants to. Firebot doesn't really have that armor. That yellow now being gone doesn't really look like he's gonna get much. Until in a second, when Red spawns and he's not even there, and that rail by Backstein it was nearly like 90 degrees up his aim. Mega's up. Backstein still waits for it a little bit. Pretty sure Fireball just heard that pickup right there. It puts it in his mind when that, that was picked up. Now Yellow is also uh, his pickup. Backsteen misses the rail, second one even. It doesn't get that much damage on Firebot, falls back on red. Stack only slightly higher, a little bit more higher than uh, Firebots with that blue. Those rocket splashes will do a bit of a number, Firebot catching a rail on the yellow. One directed rocket will hit on him from Backsteen. Oh, but the rocket, right up close. Finished Backsteen, it was equally low. And now Fireball going for the Mega. Backsteen, going for the red. They both meet up in there, it doesn't... They do quite a bit of damage to each other. Fireball at the superior stack. Now tries to go for some slight push here. The ricochet shots don't hit anything. Shaft damage there. Doesn't hit really anything else. Pulls back on Mega. He's got no armor. Pulls back on Blue for that. Backsteen, on the other hand, gets another red pickup. I about really need some armor now. He's got yellow. I don't know if Backsteen hurt that or not. On the Mega level, gets a rail on the. 
left second rail on the red side. And a lot of shaft damage, but Firewood <laughs> struggles slightly to finish that off. And even Backsteen on spawn gets a machine gun kill. Knowing how low Firebolt was, that's a 2-4. to four. His frag difference still stays. And Backsteen now, especially the Mega, just has it quite good. He's got the Trinity weapons as well. Rail, second rail hit on Firebolt after the Meg, uh, Red pickup. Oh, that rocket from above around the corner. Now the staircase hits directly. will make Firebolt fall back on the blue. Backsteen got the yellow, then the Mega in the meantime. Red is picked up by Firebolt. Is it going to be enough against Backsteen shaft damage? Barely. Backsteen also lost all of his armor that time. Order two. If Backstein keeps this frag difference up, it'll be cold effect for him in five minutes. He's dealing quite a number of damage on Firebolt constantly. He's the amazing thing is, like I've commented at his games before in XWP, and uh, his con like map control and apprehension on the opponent at the same time is just amazing. Backsteen, yep, see that, goes on and just steals the red right in front of Firebolt and deals a superfluous amount of damage at the same time, right through the teleporter comes Firebolt. And Backsteen will secure that frag for him, gets the yellow, gets the mega, tries to fire a few secure rockets just to find out where Firebolt is. Here's the steps, he's on red, picks, doesn't even pick it up yet, it's not even up yet, and Firebolt will go down. That will be Backsteen's red. Very nice red pick up the frags. We're now six to two. It's even less time for backsteam for golden frag if Firebot doesn't tie it up. Ooh, that rip. Firebot sneak around the corner. Are you still there? Are you are you okay? You are there immediately when he gets hit by the rail. Mega. Ooh. Up and backsteam controlling it magnificently at the same time while railing and Healing that much damage to Fireball. I can see why this was Backsteen's map pick, because wow does he control it well. Doesn't hit a rail now on Firebot, but still picks up the Mega. Gets one rail from below. Doesn't hit the second one though, Mega won't be up for the next eight seconds. Firebot really has to apprehend Backsteen. And uh, that did not go well. That is now 8 to 2. And Golden Frag for Backsteen should be in one minute. Ricochet shots don't hit it anywhere. Red's not for the next 12 seconds. Still tries to. Backsteen just doesn't even have a hunch when it would spawn. She tries to keep an eye on that, but at the same time. Doesn't have that much time to wait for red. He's trying to deal some damage at the same time to Fireball. Fireball keeps here hitting his rails. Mega's up. In fact, every pickup is up. The Fireball falls back on red. Backsteen gets the blue, now yellow. That's what the fight is up to right now. And Backsteen will get that too. Now he's got the Supreme stack. All he needs to do is just one extremely good push here. Five seconds until Golden Frag for Backsteen. Frag. And Firebot is not in a good position to challenge that, especially with that stack. But goes on a higher ground, gets some health and armor out of Backsteen's shoulders. He will still pick up the Mega to mitigate some of that damage. Gets the blue armor as well. Red is up right now. Firebot tries his damnedest to uh, 
do even a little bit of damage to Baxteen. Doesn't manage to do, do it that well. What Baxteen has now is 320 stack, pretty much 330. Red is up. Paxton tried to secure the area first. I think Firebolt might have heard him there. All pickups are in fact up. It, they are just chasing each other down right now. Firebolt goes for the red. Paxton misses the rail on that. He's cleanly out of there. He's on the staircase now. Paxton uses the lift and the ship jump to go after him. Amazing damage from the ship. Misses the rail. 15 HP left on Paxton. And he <laughs> gets shafted by Firebot. Still manages to hit the rail, but 75 HP remaining on Firebot. So now he really needs to look out for anything and still gets the frag. Four to eight. Four more frags to go to tie it up. Really needs to be careful not to give any ooh, any sort of heavy damage to Baxteen. Rather to himself by Baxteen, so that Baxteen would make a another extremely good push. Three seconds to red. He's conceding it. Decides to wait on yellow instead. Perhaps. Oh no, he doesn't even notice. It's not up. Three seconds for that. What is this? That it's gonna spawn right on. Right when he arrives to it, Baxteen. I don't know if he hit a rail or not. Will surely hit that rocket though. 35 HP. No firebot. Even a one, one in a row rail will kill him. Until now, he picked up some health. Now he's back on yellow. Baxton coming from the staircase. Firebot doesn't even notice that too early. And that will be Baxton's game. Nine to four on Golden Frag. That was definitely his pick. I could definitely see that. His control and just the damage on the opponent at the same time was just marvelous. Well done, Baxteen. And now the next map will be Firebot's pick. It's going to be Axiom. And we'll see that map in very shortly once the players are ready. Game starts in three. And here we have Axiom picked by Firebot. It is now one to zero in map scores for Baxteen. In this best of three between Baxteen and Firebot. On Axiom. Really enough, even this map utilizes two blues instead of one blue, one uh, yellow, and one red. And then one Mega. It's also a very vertical map. There's a. Uh, Quite a bit of height between rooms here, and Baxteen starts out ooh, very nicely with the shaft damage, but still ends up getting some pincer damage from Firebot. Ooh. Ricochet shots do a number of damage. Firebot here catches quite a bit of shaft damage, but still <laughs> doesn't even get Baxteen down, but he's constantly low on health, and finally he gets it. Ooh. The rail Baxteen at a very low HP and now the second rail would have killed him. The blue now picked up by Firebolt. 150 armor. Doesn't look that good on health though, but with the health and armor that Baxteen's been at, well, apart from now when he picked up mega health, that would have been a mediocre push. Now it's really not worth 
backsteen even. Oh, there we go, firebot. We have to go over. Yeah, backsteen was the one picking up red. Firebot slowly going up the staircase. Backsteen waiting on the other side of the hallway for him. The pincer still notices that backsteen's chasing. Goes through the uh, opposite door on the corner. Still catches the pincer. Up the stairs, in comes some shaft damage, and rockets, and firebot! We'll score the second frag, still caught a lot of damage from uh, Backsteen as well. Five seconds until the first blow. Picks it up. What he really needs now is just some health. Minor pickups will do that if Mega is not really in his control, but now it is. And now Backsteen just struggling with any any sort of pickups and just the blaster. And Firebolt will quickly finish that off with the shotgun. Firebolt notices him again, gets the blue second blow this time. Oh, but that blaster and the rockets to follow that up into the teleporter. That is some. Number of damage. Backsteen. Tried to go for a uh, an implosion weeble push there after the red pickup. Doesn't seem that his tech looks any better after that though. 44 HP remaining. Take some armor shards. Should go with the void cannon. I think that's what he used in the teleporter as well. He just used the void cannon to do a number of damage with that projectile, hitting it with the hit scan. Backsteen. Catches Fireball on the jump pad, and he had nowhere to go there. It's three to two now. Ooh, and Fireball, yeah, with very little stack, with very little anything, in fact. Just nearly died there for the third time to Backsteen. That would have scored a tie. And he's still desperate, looking for any any stack whatsoever. Backsteen holds the first blue. Even the red, right next to it. Is it a very much superior stack than Fireball? Axiom is definitely a, a larger map than uh, even, I dare say, Sanctum or Frontier. Oh, sorry, not Frontier, Bioplant. So uh, controlling the map with the same movement speed on all maps is just definitely going to be difficult with uh, pickups having more distance between each other. So that's why Firebot, and now, no, sorry, Backsteen has now got his third frag. Firebot just had very little. Uh, Maneuvers between pickups. A little safe maneuvers anyway, because the map is just very large. It is very open. Here comes Backsteen again. Again with a fourth frag and a bunch of damage with the same stack, pretty much. It's at least nice that the uh, positions of the pickups are marked quite well, so... There's icons of the armor and health on the floor. Which is very try to try to use a bit of a tactic with the void cannon. Only catches the projectile that time. Firebot catches quite a bit of damage from the shaft. It needed to fall back there. Blue armor. Picked up by Backsteen, far up railed. Mega is Backsteen's, he's got quite the bit of stack. Firebot now at, I don't know what HP, something below 10. Had to fall back that time. And there he goes. Backsteen with the implosion weeble push. Excellent job at that. This is the second pincer. Doesn't miss the rockets though. That will be six to three for Backstein. Blue pickups. I think Firebot got the other blue. Backstein on the Mega Health. Boy, and it doesn't really hit any. Oh, now it did. Now it really hit. Backstein on the lower side of stack this time. 28 HP. Really has to fall back. That those void cannon blast did some number on Backsteen. 
What he really has is just 150 stack. Oh, there we go. Shards do a bit, of, bit more than that. Void Cannon doesn't hit from Firebolt. Neither did the uh, rail either. See, kind of those bit of a bad corner for the Void Cannon projectile to hit with the hit scan. Implosion Weeball. I don't know if that was his or, uh, <laughs> or Firebolt. Definitely just hindered Baxter's movement a little bit. Blue is up far, but I think was just about to grab it. He just has way more than. Uh, well, actually, only has a hundred armor, so I could have picked that up. But there we go. Baxter picking it up. One second to make a fireball added. Now it's time for the push against Baxter if he really wants to. Ooh, that boy cannon blast does some damage. The pincer will hit. Oops. Firebot into pretty much even stack with Baxteen, if not even less. Especially now with that chef damage that is just incredibly accurate by Baxteen. Goes in for the second push. Doesn't hit the pincer, that was so close. Goes in still with the first, but then there we go, the rocket will finish him off. 7 to 3 in cracks. For Baxteen. And he, if, if he keeps this up, ooh, it doesn't really seem like that. He will go even higher than that, in fact. It will be one and a half minutes for his golden frag. Firebolt doesn't really look all that good, especially on his next spawn. That has to be around 25 HP or so. That is. He really needs some stack. to look for that very fast because Baxteen is constantly roaming around the map controlling the items and doing that bit of damage at the same time to his opponent knows where he is more or less but the times he does find out when his, where, where his opponent is he does manage to do quite a bit of assault There we go, red is Baxteen's. He's got both Mega and Red now, Firebolt. The only thing he really has to pull back to is two blues, catches a pincer, and Baxteen will get that Mega once again. Just less than 30 seconds for Baxteen's Golden Frag. It could be even less than that. Now the Firebolt's at low, and now it's Golden Frag. now it's looking very promising for Baxteen given his control already firebolt very good damage with the shaft and the pincer Baxteen still doesn't give up he knows he has, he's got armor he's got health and he's got even more health now with the mega charge will help him quite a far away firebolt really only he, he picked up was the uh, red and the blue armors Baxteen misses the rail on Firebot. It's completely lost timing on Red now that Firebot picked it up. Very nice rail around the corner. Shaft damage right next to the pillars. Goes in for the push. This could be his game. And in fact, it will be. That is quite an excellent matchup for Baxteen. Wow. And it is, in fact, 2-0 to zero for him, and he controlled both maps quite well. Holy crap. Like, Sanctum was definitely his pick, I, I'll give him that. Then then uh, this one as well. Axiom is definitely more open. There is When you get control, the opposing player may just have severe difficulties in taking it back. Very nice game by Backstein in both maps. And we'll go for a bit of a break. And the next matchup should be in uh, round six between Baxteen and Vigor. And we'll be back in a few minutes.